What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mark, checking in. We've got another daily transfer update. We've got a couple of Lane United-related situations to touch on, so let's jump into it. First, with an incoming player. Matias Villasanti, 22-year-old center defensive midfielder from Cerro Porteño of Paraguay, appears to be close to a deal with Atlanta United. His release clause is reportedly $6 million, according to Roberto Rojas. And according to him, a deal is actually pretty close. It's just a couple final details that need to be worked out. Now, uh, the defensive midfielder is very good at tracking back, at winning balls. He's also adept at getting forward, can contribute with the occasional goal or assist. He also definitely fills a need, especially with Nagby outgoing. Now, he's not a Nagby like for like. However, I think our midfield does require a holding midfielder, and uh, he certainly seems to fit that bill. He's also 22 years old, and uh, with a $6 million release clause, perhaps has a high ceiling. I think that uh, reflects how much Cerro Porteño values him. Certainly a signing that I'm excited about. I think that will help us a lot in the long run. But what do you guys think? Do you think that that's a player that can contribute right away to a Champions League run, to a league title run? Get down in the comments and let us know. Now, on a more somber note, it appears that an original five stripe, a real stalwart in the team over the past three seasons, is on his way out. According to sources, including Felipe Cardenas, Leandro Gonzalez Perez, and Atlanta United, have agreed to a deal with Cholos for the defenders to join the Liga Meki team ahead of the 2020 Clausura semester. Now, this deal certainly appears to be getting done quickly. Uh, it, it is reportedly done. It just hasn't been announced yet. And uh, it would benefit all parties the quicker this deal gets done. The Liga Meki season starts January 13th, which is only a couple weeks away. And of course, the January transfer window is about to open. And if Atlanta United are going to move Perez, they're going to have to bring in at least one center back. I personally think two with all the center backs that we've lost this offseason. Florentine Pogba, Parkhurst, and now Perez. But on a personal note, this makes me sad, man. I mean, like, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. Going to these games, going to Atlanta United games, not seeing Perez on the team sheet, not seeing him out there on the field uh, in deep discussions with Guzan or, you know, just instructing, you know. Um, yes, I know he was a high risk, uh, high reward kind of player, but uh, he's certainly somebody that commanded respect on and off the field. And uh, I know his presence will certainly be missed in the locker room. I know we as fans will miss him as well. And all I've got to say, dude, is best of luck to you in Mexico, wherever your career takes you. You'll always have the 2018 MLS Cup, the 2019 Open Cup with Atlanta United. And Godspeed, LGP. But what do you guys think of these moves? Do you think this makes us a better team? Are you confused by what the front office is doing? Either way, get in the comments, let us know. You know we're gonna stay on top of the news for you. And once again, this is Mark checking in. See you until next time.